Hello, good evening. Hello, how are you? Hello, Jacqueline and David. Hello, Jacqueline, Hello. how are you? I'm fine. All right. How are you? I am good. It's finally Friday. I will get yeah. some sleep. Uh, hold on, guys, I'm sending a message to everyone. Okay. Okay, very good. Uh, so you give, uh, you give classes you have to give classes all day, David, or only the nine to ten? No, I, I, I teach all day. All day? From, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I, you, are you are here in El Salvador or? or yeah, I'm, you... I'm here, man. I'm here. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, I'm here in El Salvador, yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I teach every, I mean, I teach every day, but I also like, I do reports and things like that from my other uh, workplace. So, so yeah, I actually work from 7 a.m. I get, like the only time I rest is maybe, you know, during lunch yeah. at 12, yeah. And then I leave at 6 p.m. But wow. then at, I have like some extra work to do after 6 p.m. So actually I get like one hour, but then I, I have to prepare like this class. And uh, so yeah, dude, I, I don't know. So I try not to think about how much I work because okay. then I will probably well, get Well, so. <laughs> All right. So I'm sending messages, guys, so everybody can join. All right. I, I, I love your memes, guys. Okay. That, that makes my day. <laughs> Those memes are, are awesome. All right, so welcome everybody. Okay, uh, Jacqueline, nice to see you. Mauricio, Jocelyn, nice to see you early. Oh my God. Woo. High five to you, Jocelyn. <laughs> All right, Francisco, Ricardo, Ana, thank you for joining on a Friday. I know that you could be with your best friend, Regia, right? But you're not. <laughs> I said you're here. Yes, okay, sir. guys. <laughs> Very good, guys. Very good. Okay. All right, guys. So, the, have we finished everything? Okay. I want to, I want to, um, the first thing that I want to take care of, guys, is uh, the completion of the platform. Okay. So, so far, guys, we, we should have finished. I'm sorry. So, we should have finished uh, everything from uh, section one, two, three, probably, right? Although we're going to finish section three today. All right. But everything, guys, until section uh, 3.7 okay so everything up until then should be finished so let me ask you all right um oh I, you know what i think um, i can do a poll tell me tell me i have Jeff. a question teacher tell me well it's not a question <laughs> it's about uh last night uh -huh. we made the point three points I don't remember actually, mm -hmm. but the answer, the long answer, I don't remember how write that answer. So I have wrong that point. Okay, all right. We're we're gonna see that right now. Okay, so what I want you to tell me right now, guys, I was trying to find a way to bring out the polls, but it seems that that's not available here. Huh? Weird. Okay. All right, guys. So. Let me ask you, okay? So what I want you to do right now, guys, is to tell me which parts you have not finished, okay? So uh, let's see how we all finish section one, guys. Yeah. All of us present here. Okay. How we all finished section two. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jacqueline, which is the one where you have you ever having issues on? I mean, in mm -hmm. about about the exercise exercise the we do yesterday we does yesterday do about that? the carnival about the carnival yes. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, right. It so it's difficult. It was a difficult. That's uh, the it's, it's because to complete the, that all the time yeah. they wrong. Uh -huh. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so let's let's pull that up again. Okay, you mean this exercise? Yes, the number three. Number three. It's well, on well, late February or early March. 
Okay. 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 Right. I do okay. what I have one. Okay. Also, guys, remember, be careful with the we care, be careful with the apostrophe because there is there are two characters. There are there is the apostrophe and there is the 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 quotation mark. Okay. So some people use a quotation mark instead of an apostrophe. Okay. It's not the same, right? If you if you type in a um, a quotation mark, it will not mark the answer correctly. Okay. Very good. Okay. All right, guys. Good, 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 good job. Okay. All right. So uh, everything, guys. What about what about section three? Have we done? Have we finished the exercise three point four? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Three point four done. Okay. Very good. Uh, carnival time. Did we all finish that one? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very mm -hmm. good. Okay. All right. So let's talk about the wedding day. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's 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 uh, let's let's jump into this. Okay, watch this video, guys. I want to explain you about stress and rhythm. Okay, because uh, after this, guys, today you also have to. Well, to, today, guys, or if you want to finish it tomorrow, it's okay. We have the midterm. Okay, so yeah. section number three has to be finished. Then we have the midterm as well. But I, the midterm is easy peasy. Okay. All right. Very good, guys. So. Again, guys, the da da da, right? Okay. Okay. So when we're talking, guys, okay, when we're talking, we are, you know, intonation, guys, is singing when we speak, okay? In Spanish, we don't sing too much when we speak, unless you're Mexican, right? Hola, como estás? Right? Like, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> I exaggerated. Uh, very good, guys. But but in English, guys, you you actually sing when you speak like all the time, okay? So uh, your intonation goes up and down. Your intonation goes it goes like this, guys. Okay. So this let's pretend that this is intonation. Okay. Your intonation goes like that. Okay. All right. So uh, <laughs> you're gonna notice, guys, how words and syllables occur with a regular rhythm. Okay. Let's listen. When okay, okay, guys, where did you hear? Where did you hear the longest intonation? Where did you hear the, the, the most intonation here? Don't miss it. I couldn't hear anything. Oh, I'm Don't sorry. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And practice. Notice okay. how stressed words. Pretend, pretend that I have a stereo next to me. Okay. Remember the old stereos from the teachers, right? So this is like one of those. All right. And syllables occur with a regular rhythm. When people get married in Japan. They sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Very good job. So let's repeat, guys, and then I'm going to ask you where you hear the, you know, the strongest intonation, okay? Everybody, when people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. When people when get married, people married, get in, Japan, get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony, the ceremony at, a shrine. at a shrine. Very good job, okay? All right, so I want you to notice this, guys, okay? The same intonation when we say people happens here, married happens here, and Japan happens here, okay? When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Do you notice how that sounds like they, like, like you're, you know, like your Eminem? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think? What does that mean, shrine? shrine. Ceremony okay. at the shrine. It's like a, it's, like, it's, it's like a temple, guys, right? Don't know Spanish. Oh, okay. Okay. Temple, okay? So it's just like a temple. All right, very good, guys. So, all right, so... Notice, guys, the intonation. So let me ask you something, guys. People, sometimes, marriage, ceremony, shrine, uh, Japan, shrine. 
Did they have the same intonation? People, Hello? sometimes. Um, I don't know. <laughs> no, like people and sometimes is the, the first, first war in the strong. Okay, no, no, but but listen, well, okay, I, I think we're getting confused. No, but I think see, they have the same intonation. Very good. Yes, guys, that's that's my point, okay? I'm not talking about the words themselves, okay? I'm talking about, all right, I'm talking about uh, the intonation. The intonation when we say people in a sentence is the same intonation that you're having sometimes. Mary has the same intonation as ceremony. Japan has the same intonation as shrine. All right, listen to me again. When people get married in Japan, right? When, when people, people get married, get married in, Japan, in Japan. get married in Japan. Okay, I'm not saying when people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony to the train. Right, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> saying that, guys, okay? All right, that is a flat intonation. When people get married at Japan, right? It's like I'm singing. When people get married at Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine, right? So see? Do you notice the strongest intonation in the word shrine and the word Japan, guys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, there is a very strong intonation here, right? So strong okay. intonation in shrine and strong intonation in Japan. Okay? So, all right. So that is the correlation that I want you to understand, right? So let's check this out again. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Everybody repeat. Go. When people when get, people married, get in Japan, married in Japan, they sometimes have a ceremony at the shrine. Okay, very good. We don't say when people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Right? See, that is that is that is okay. That is you know, bad singing, right? If you want to sound, uh, if you talk like this, guys, if you put the, the the if you if you make those breaks in intonation when you're talking. In English, you're gonna sound more American, right? So, uh, so that is that. That's it, guys. It's the rhythm, okay? The rhythm of when you're speaking. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have a ceremony in a shrine. When you came to see me, I never told you to leave my my place. See, I'm using it in another sentence, right? When, when you came to see me, I never thought you would leave soon okay All right let's let's try it in this sentence guys okay All right let's try to get the same stress okay so in this case guys check this out okay you can say when people when you came to see me i never thought you would leave so soon okay you you will leave soon when you came to see me i never thought you would leave soon do you notice that pattern when you came to see me right it goes up i never thought you would leave soon do you notice that pattern no tengo el patrón. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, de la entonación, all right? All right, yeah. the pattern of the intonation, right? Okay, so let's read this. Ricardo, go. When you can, uh, the, the last example? Yes. Okay. When you came, when you came to see me, I never told you, uh, I never told you live soon. I never thought, repeat everybody, thought. Thought. Uh, thought. Okay, I never thought you would leave soon, okay? <coughs> well, okay. Uh, continue, repeat it, right, go for it. <laughs> when you came in to see me, when you came in to see me, I never thought you would leave soon. You would leave, repeat, you would leave soon. Would you leave soon? Okay, very good, guys, very good, okay? So let's get some practice in this, guys, okay? All right, so what I want you to do, guys, okay, is that you can come up with your own sentences or you can repeat this, okay? I'll be checking into the rooms, guys, to check on your pronunciation, okay? okay. All right, on your pronunciation and also and also the, the rhythm of your pronunciation, okay? All right, so uh, take a screenshot, guys, and send it to the group. Oh my God, many, many people miss right. the class today, huh? Because it's Friday. They prefer Regias <laughs> than the class. All right, very good, guys. It's I know, I know. Like, 
Okay. All right. So I'm, I'll, I'll be sending this to the WhatsApp group, guys, so you can practice, okay? Any okay. questions, guys, before we do the practice? So we, we will practice that sentences, uh, how to, with the rhythm or what? Or you can, I don't understand you will, what. Okay, you will, yes, you can either, I, I said, you can either practice this sentence. Uh -huh. Okay, oh, somebody sent it already. You can either practice this sentence or you can come up with your own. The, the only thing that I want to check is you practicing the rhythm of uh, when, you, when you talk like this, okay? Okay. All right, so you're going to do it like that. Na 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 right so that mm -hmm. intonation da 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 got it got it got yeah. it got it all right so yeah. that type of intonation is what i want you to practice okay very good let's go Fine, but I'm so tired. How are you, Neil? How are you? Oh. Ah, thank you. Uh, uh, nice, nice. Thank you. Thank you, Jacqueline. Oh, it's okay. How are okay. you? Okay. Let's do practice. Okay. Do you have the screenshot? Yes, I have. So. Wow. Let me see. Okay. The, the exercise. No, go ahead. The exercise three ten. Yeah, the, the image the image guys is uh is on the is it's in the WhatsApp group. Yes. We gotta read the paragraph. Yes. When the people get yes. married in Japan, they something have the ceremony out shrine. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So see, I didn't understand what you said because of the intonation, because of the rhythm, right? So I want you to read it with rhythm. Okay. Remember okay. that. Da 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 da. Right. Very good. Okay. All right. So okay. Francisco, Wait. let's start with Francisco. Okay. okay. Uh, when when people get married in Japan, they something have the ceremony at shrine. Okay, all right. Now, first off, the pronunciation is off, okay? And uh, the st your, your intonation right now is very flat. You're not singing, you need to sing, okay? All right, so um, let me go back there. Okay, so, oh, oh no, it's not this. Okay, so it is, repeat after me. When people get married in Japan. When people get married in Japan. All right, I wanna hear, I wanna hear Juan right now, just, just one. All right, let me hear you. When people get married in Japan. When, peop when people get married in Japan. Uh, okay, so, friends, so Juan, the, the, what I want you to understand do you understand what rhythm is? What, what, what do I refer to when I'm talking about rhythm? El ritmo, el ritmo. ¿Sabes qué es ritmo? Yes. Okay. Now, do you know what, do you know what stress is? ¿Sabes qué significa stress? Stress. Es que no, pones la, la mayor fuerza de entonación en una, en una palabra. Okay. So, what I want you to understand... Lo que quiero que entendas es que cuando vos estás hablando, en esta oración, por ejemplo, pones la mayor fuerza de entonación en Japan. Uh -huh. Y pones la mayor fuerza de entonación en Shrine. Las haces que coincidan con la entonación. Es como una canción. So cuando uh -huh. se... Da, 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 da. All right, repeat. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Very good. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Very good, okay? So use that same pattern, use that same intonation. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. See? It is the same. Da 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 da. Okay. Right. Do you understand what I mean now? Okay. Very good. 
when people get married in Japan, they something have ceremony at shrine. Okay, right. Follow your da 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 da. Right. Let's go one more time. Okay. With the read the paragraph. No, quiero que sigas el mismo ritmo. El ritmo. Quiero que sigas el mismo ritmo de da 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 da. Okay. Seguí lo mismo. Ponelo en tu cabeza. Y solo pronuncia, en vez de decir da, decir, when people get married in Japan, da, 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 right? Okay. Right, one more time. When, when people get married in Japan, they something have the ceremony at shrine. Very good. Pastor Francisco guy. Woo. Good job, brother, from another mother. Very good. Okay, All right. Uh, Jacqueline, let's go, Jacqueline. Okay. <clears throat> When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at shrine. Okay, right. That was a very flat intonation. Remember that. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. da. All right. One more time. Okay. Okay. Wait. Wait. Uh, when people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at shrine. Ara, right. Repeat. Ara, ara shrine. Ara shrine. Okay. Very good, okay. Your pronunciation is okay, all right. Uh, but the intonation in Japan, you have to say Japan. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have this ceremony at a shrine, all right. Okay. One more time. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have a ceremony at a shrine. Okay, right. That was much better, okay, all right. Very good. The pronunciation is very good, Jacqueline, okay. The intonation okay. this time around was better too. But we could we could make it like a little bit higher, okay? All right. Okay. One last time. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Okay. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at shrine. Ara, ara shrine. Ara shrine. Very good. Okay. Applause so for Jacqueline, guys. Woo. Good job. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's go, Mr. Alfaro. <laughs> okay. When people get, uh, sorry, uh -huh. when people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at Archan. Ara, guys, Ara Shrine. Ara, 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 Ara Shrine. Ara Shrine. Ara Shrine. 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 Uh huh. Very good. Okay. Now okay. that was a was that was that good rhythm, guys, or was that flat intonation? What do you think? A little bit flat. Okay, that was a little bit flat, right? Right. One more time. Remember that. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Right. Okay. When people get when people get married in Japan, that sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Okay, much better. Shrine. Repeat. Shrine. Shrine. Uh, shrine. shrine. There is an R in between. Shrine. 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 Like. Like, oh, like a pirate. Shrine. Shrine. Okay, shrine. Okay, almost, almost there, okay? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. that, 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 the pronunciation of, shri of shrine, guys, with the R and a sh, it's a little bit difficult to learn, okay? But good okay. job, guys. Keep practicing. I'm going to check on other guys. But good job, Leo. Good, okay, good, good, good job, okay? <laughs> what? What, <laughs> what are you talking about? What? Que jabón? <laughs> no Spanish. You are sleepy, teacher. You're sleepy? Yeah. <laughs> right. When yeah. people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at the shrine. Hey, that, hey, your pronunciation, your intonation is very nice. I like it. All right. Uh, the intonation of Japan in shrine should be, should be higher, okay? When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine, right? All right, one more time. Okay. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at the shrine. Okay, all right. The, the intonation at the end should be higher. Okay, but you got it. Basically, guys, what, what we're saying is, okay, we follow the same path, the same rhythm when we're talking, okay? That's it. It's a rhythm, like a song, right? All right. right. So, uh, but Japan should be higher, shrine should be higher, okay? When people get married in Japan, when you make like pauses, you know, right before those pauses is when you get the most, you know, the the, the highest intonation. All right. We're going to go back now, guys. Okay. Because we have a grammar class to deliver. All 
All right, guys. So I hope that we learn how to sing. <laughs> Did you learn how to sing? How to sing. How to sing, yes. How to have rhythm. Yeah, the rhythm. Yes, yes, yes. That's why I call it singing, guys, because it's just, you know, rhythm when we're, we're speaking, right? Okay, guys. So we're going to talk about uh, time clauses, okay? The adverbial time clause, okay? So, guys, first of guys, clauses, they modify verbs, they modify adjectives, they modify other adverbs, but they never modify a noun, okay? So, write it down in your notebook. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to type it in here, okay? So, adverbs, right? Okay. All right. All right. They never... Teacher. Tell me. Sorry. Uh, how do you say disciplinado in English? Disciplined. Discipline, discipline, yeah. Okay. That is it's a very it's a very short eh, discipline, okay? Very good. So never so adverbs guys they never modify nouns, okay? But they modify they modify the adjectives, they modify verbs, and they modify other adverbs as well. Okay. All right. Anyway, so we're today, guys, we're going to talk about, you know, adverse of uh, time, okay? All right, so what adverse of time are we going to refer to today? <laughs> we're going to refer to when, <clears throat> to when, okay? We're going to talk about when, we're going to talk about uh, after, and we're going to talk about before, okay? So how do we call these three pieces, guys, in grammar? Mm -mm. We call them? It starts with an A. When? After. Adver. We call them adverse. Very good job. Okay, Adver. we call them adverse. Okay, so don't forget that. Adver, All right. Don't forget that. We call them adverbs. Okay. Adverbs. Okay. So when after before okay all right so uh let's take a look at the first example okay all right help me read alan okay when when people get married in japan they sometimes have the ceremony at uh, Shrin? Shrin, come on, man. What happened with the practice just now? We were practicing that. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. All right, one more time, Alan. Shrine, shrine. Okay, when shrine. people get married in Japan, they sometimes have a ceremony at the shrine. Ara, guys, shrine. guys, everybody's having the pronunciation mistake here. Repeat, guys. Ara. Ara. It's like Ara. saying Ara in Spanish. Ara. 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 Right, Ara. One, more, one more time, Ara. Alan. One more time. Okay. Ara. Ara. Yes. One more time. No, I mean the whole sentence. Ah, okay. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes <laughs> have the ceremony at a shrine. Very good. Shrine. Very good. Okay. All right. Shrine. Okay. Shrine. What no, is that? No, shrine. You sure? what shrine, is, guys. What is shrine? What is shrine. what is a shrine, guys? Shrine. Temple. Like a camarón. Temple. No, 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 guys. It's not. <laughs> no, that's a shrimp. It's, that's, it's not like a shrimp. <laughs> like the camarón. <laughs> shrimp. La libra de camarón. Cocktail shrimp. Very good, very good. Shrimp. All right, guys. So, all right. So, when, where do you see the adverb here? Where is the adverb? At first, at the beginning. When? At the beginning. When? Okay, so the adverb. When? Okay, very good. So the adverb is at the beginning, right? The adverb is when. Very good. Okay. All right. Next one, guys. Help me read the next one. Uh, Jacqueline. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Okay. After the food is served, the the guest gives fish. Oh my God! I'm all right. the, the guest gives speeches or sing songs. Okay, repeat what guys. The... After the food is served, right? Remember, EDN is here. After the food is served, 
After, after, the, after the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. The guests give speeches or sing songs. Okay. Notice, guys, notice the intonation. After food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs, right? Da 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 right? The same thing, right? The same pattern, okay? All right, good job, guys. So, where is the adverb here? Where do you see the adverb? After. Right. Where is the adverb, right? Like Dora the Explorer, right? Where is the adverb? The beginning. It's there here, is okay? The it's right. at the beginning. It's here, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. ¿Dónde está el, dónde está el, el adverb verbio? Right? Oh, está aquí, right? <laughs> All right. All right. And, then, and then the monkey, the monkey, right, pops pop, pops out, monkey? right? Yeah, Very good, they, guys. They do <laughs> that, that the cartoon. It's necessary that we speak as a cartoon. <laughs> okay, right. If you want to speak <laughs> like a character from a cartoon, that's absolutely fine, all right? Very good, okay. guys, okay? All right, so before, okay, before, what is that? Is that also an adverb? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, Dora, it's an adverb. Right, very good, okay? All right. Very good, guys. So, yes, yeah, okay, all right. Help me read the, the next example, Esther. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give their present. Very good job. Very nice intonation. Very good pronunciation too. Applause for Esther, guys. Woo! Very good. Hey, where did you learn? Where did you learn your English, Esther? I don't know. Okay. Watching yeah. movies, I think. Watching? <laughs> Lavando películas? <What>? No. <laughs> <laughs> So you were practicing English while you were watching. And like, okay. <laughs> watch chain, right? Che Chucho. Watching. watching. Ah, watch. Watching. Watching. Right? No, watch. Watching. It's like like when you say chucho, guys. It's the same thing. Right? Watch chain. You don't say shusho. Watching. Right? You don't say shusho. Right? It's not shusho, guys, okay? All right, very good. Watching. <laughs> It's che de chuchu, watching, right? Very good, okay. It's shusho, shusho, go away. No. No people say that. <laughs> All right, no, guys, it's, uh, we use that when we say shuko, right? I told the shuko. All right. Okay. Very good, guys. So, so what is an adverbial clause of time, okay? An adverbial clause of time describes or defines the when something happens, okay? So basically, guys, if... You can answer this question, hey, when did it happen, okay? So ask yourself, ask yourself the, this question, okay? All right? And if you can answer it, okay, that is, you know, you can use, you can uh, use the adverb, okay? All right? So, the when, when something happens. So, guys, it refers to time. It refers to? Time. 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 Okay, time. when okay, when talks about time. It's like the same where guys. Where talks about Play. places, Play. right? Okay. Place. Place. Very good. Okay, so when guys, we're gonna we're always gonna refer about time, okay? Very good, guys. So now so when uh why is it easy to identify these adverb guys? I mean these um these clauses actually because they always start with subordinating conjunctions. They always start with? Subordinating conjunctions. Subordinating conjunctions, okay? So let's take a look at some examples here, okay? All right, so when, after, before, since, until, why, whenever, okay? So these are subordinating conjunctions, okay? These are also mm -hmm. adverbs. So write them down, guys. Now, question, do we have more subordinating conjunctions? Do we have more adverbs? We're talking about um, for giving time references. What do you think? Maybe. Okay. Yes, guys, we do yeah. have more. Okay. All right. Uh, so these, all of these guys, all of these, all of these conjunctions, guys, are talking about time. They're talking about. Um, okay, we have an, we have uh, some like as soon as, right? Yeah. If I say as soon as, tan pronto como, right? As soon as. Yeah. All right, do you think that this is, uh, this uh, this represents time? Yes. 
Okay, what about, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, after, we get after. When after. All right, now, okay, what about now? All right, now that, okay, now that you have come to class, okay, everything will be better. All right, okay, so we mm -hmm. do have more, uh, we do have more adverbs for talking about time, guys, okay? All right, very good. Any questions so far? Very good, okay. If no. no questions, okay. If you don't have any questions, write these down, guys, and then we're going to go into what they are, okay? Depending, uh, which are subordinating conjectures versus independent clauses, okay? So now, this is talking, guys, about depending clauses versus independent clauses. A clause, guys, can be defined as a sentence, okay? When the sentence feels incomplete, that is a dependent clause, okay? A clause, guys, is a group of words, okay? Or phrases, okay? So, if I say, I came, I came. No, yeah, all right, let's use I came, okay? I came and then I use the independent clause Okay. You left with Corona Berto. Okay. All right. Very good. So if I say, guys, I came. Do we have? Do Do you think? Do you think that we need something else there, or does it make sense on its on its own? Need something. It needs something, guys. Okay. So there uh -huh. is okay. I came, needs, I came. Needs, needs a couple, right? I came. What are you talking about, okay? All right. So if you say, I came, I came home, right? Let's say I came home, okay? All right. We do need something, guys. If you think, right, that the clause, right, because there are two clauses here, right? If you, think, if you think that the clause needs something else, okay, all right, you can join them together, all right? How do you join mm -hmm. them together? All right. You can, join them, you can join them, right? When I came home, when, say, I, when uh -huh. I came home, Coma with adverb, right? With the adverb, very good. Okay, when I came home, you left with Corona Verto. Okay, you can also say, I came home when, when. very good, when you left with Corona Verto. Okay, all right. Now, what other, what other adverbs do we have, guys? Um, after, before, I don't know. Uh, Okay, very good. After. I came home after, right? I came home after you left with yeah. Corona Verde. Or we can say after I came home. Okay, after, after, I'm sorry, after I came home, right, coma. So notice something, guys. If you use it at the beginning of the sentence, guys, you're, all, you're going to use a coma, right? After I came home, you left with Corona Verde, okay? All right, what else, guys? What else? Can I say as soon as as soon as I came home, Very you left job. with Corona Verde. As soon as uh, Corona Verde. As soon as, right? <laughs> as soon as I came home, you left with Corona Verde. Very good. All right. Now everybody, give me and right, first of all, do you have a question, guys? No. Questions, questions, questions. Okay. All right. Very good. So let's see, Ricardo. No, you know what? Anna, right? Let's start with from top to bottom, okay? Anna, give me an example. Um, the same? Only change the word? No, give me an example. It's your own example. I'm new. What? Um, I, I don't know, teacher. Okay, that's Sir, good. Help me, please. Okay, right. So again, guys. So uh, let's use another, another, another adverb, guys. Give me another adverb. Huh? Now is not. <laughs> okay. Until. Until. Very good. Okay. Until the ones that we have seen, guys. Okay. Until. All right. Until. You do it. 
If I say you do it, guys, check this out. If I say you do it, all right, um, do you know Do you know what am I going to do? Does it make sense on its own? You do it. No. No, guys, it doesn't, right? So, no. okay, so you do what? Okay, so what? What are you talking about, right? So if I ask that, I will ask, what, what are you talking about, right? What? What is it, right? What do you want me to do? ¿A qué te referís? Hacerlo, hacer qué? Si vos tenés esa pregunta de hacer el qué, guys, si a vos, si a vos, si una oración no tiene sentido porque le ves que le falta, ves que le falta algo para que tenga sentido, eso es una cláusula dependiente, ¿ok? That is a depend, dependent clause, clause, ¿ok? Got it? Okay. Okay. Si sentís que la cláusula le falta marido, es dependiente, right? Very good. Mm. All right. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, now, an independent clause, clause, guys, okay? Right? It doesn't, no, no requiere marido, right? So, an independent clause or... or Anybody or, or, here. <laughs> or, right, very good, okay? So, an independent clause, guys, it would be like, hey, I like to eat chocolate, right? I like to eat chocolate. All right, if I, if I like to eat chocolate, all right, um... Does, does this make sense on its own? ¿Eso tiene sentido? En, así well, mi, eh, yes. I don't know how to say yeah. it on its own. En sí mismo, I don't know. My God, I'm sweating. Uh, very good. So I like to eat chocolate. Like very good, chocolate. okay? So if I say I like it, right? Um, I'm sorry. Uh, if I say, if I, I say, like for example, eat. if I say, for example, uh, I saw, I saw it. Okay, I saw it. Does it make sense on its own? No. Okay, very good. Okay, so we need we need to join them right with something else. So I saw it. So you can say, when I saw it, right? When I saw it. When I saw it, I was. I was. No, when I saw it, uh, I will. Um, no, I, when I saw it, I was so happy. When I saw it, when I saw it, when I saw it the drunk. first time, I was nervous. Okay, all right. When I saw it, I saw it the it first time. Now. All right, check this out, guys. If I say I saw it the first time, okay, it doesn't make sense on its own, right? You have to add something else. So I saw it the first time. Okay, what 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 did you see the first time? What are you talking about? Uh, at, at, for example, at my girl, at my girlfriend. Okay, right. Yeah. You saw when your girlfriend. I saw, okay. When I saw saw her, say when I saw her the first time, I was I was sweating. <laughs> I I was <laughs> I was I was nervous. Is that true? Is that a true story? <laughs> no. no you, it's not the true. <laughs> Very good. Or maybe, right. or maybe when um, I, uh, you see for the first time your first child or any child? Child. All right. Child. child. All right. Yeah. Very wow. good. Okay. So uh, until you can say until now, right? What are, give me the other adverbs, guys. Okay. What are the other adverbs that I gave you? Let's use another one. After. What? After. After. Okay. So you can say after Before. I saw Before. my, okay. So after I saw him for the first time, okay. After I saw him for the first time, I, I, fell, in I fell in love. Very good. Okay. I fell in love. Okay. All right. Or you can say. I saw him for the first time, and then, huh? and then, and, and after, okay, and after, I fell in love. Now, here's, there is, there is something, guys, that you should notice here, okay? The reason why we need to use a comma here is because we're using two dependent uh, clauses, okay? So remember, in order for this to work, one has to be, uh, I'm sorry, we're using two independent clauses, all right? In order for this to work, one of them has to be dependent and the other one has to be independent, okay? 
right? So both of them made sense, okay? If you if you write them on its own, they would both make sense. All right, so let's move on, guys, because of the time. All right, so let's analyze this sentence, okay? All right, so when we say when she comes, everybody, when she comes. When, when she, she comes. comes. All right, now, if I say when she comes, the, do you think that this needs something else? When she comes. Yes. Very good. Yeah. Yes, guys. Uh -huh. Okay, so check this out. How can we identify if this is a subordinating conjunction or, you know, as we call it, a dependent clause? We have the subordinating conjunction or, or adverb, right? We have the adverb plus the subject and a verb. But, okay, well, what are we missing? What are we yeah. missing, guys? The complement. Okay, we're missing compliment. the complement, okay? All right, or we're missing, very good, okay? I like that better. We're missing a noun, okay? All right, we're actually even better, guys. We're missing an object, okay? We're missing an object of the sentence, okay? Because you can say, when she comes home, okay? When she comes home. Now, this would be, this would be complete, yes or not? Oh, when she comes home. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When she comes, when she comes to uh to see me, all right? When she comes to see me, would that be complete? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. When she uh when she arrives or when she arrived, okay. When she arrived, would the, would this be complete? Oh. Yes. Yes. No. Very good. Okay. Yeah. So guys, we need okay. We need a completion here, right? And that's it, we're missing a noun, okay? All right, so this, guys, is this depend a dependent or independent clause? Dep independent. Depend. It's, a de it's a dependent because, right, it needs, it needs someone else, mm -hmm. right? It needs someone else, okay? Very good. All right, now, let's see here guys okay help me read this and tell me what you understand about that uh let's see who hasn't read so far uh jocelyn all right jocelyn let's go so let me help me read this jocelyn when she comes home is a subordinate or the same clause meaning it is no complete is the pen is some other ideas to expect more information. Very good. Now, guys, let me make a summary of this, okay? Vamos a hacer un resumen de eso. Le voy a enseñar que es fácil hacer un resumen. All right? You take the main idea, okay? So, si yo quiero explicar, if I want to explain, guys, what is, you know, what is a um, a dependent clause, right? Si yo quiero explicar que es una cláusula dependiente, all right? I will highlight what it is. Oh, okay. Not complete. Oh, other idea. Okay. Ahora tengo la definición, guys. Okay, significa, all right, that it's not complete and it needs another idea. See? So, al final es, all right, una oración, all right, it's a clause that is not complete and needs another idea. Got it? Yeah. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, very good. Okay, so that is the definition, guys. Okay. All right, so now what about the second the second example? Rocio, help me read the second example and tell me if you think if it is a dependent or independent clause and why. Okay, she will read a uh, bedtime history is a main clause or independent clause, meaning it makes perfect sense along. Very good, guys, okay. It is an independent clause, okay? Now, this is not history. This is repeat story. 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 All right, like Toy Story. story. Right? story. All right, very good. Story. So, story. all right, let's, let's summarize. Vamos a hacer un guys, okay? So, okay. it is an independent clause because it makes perfect sense alone. Why is it, why is it an independent clause, guys? It's made perfect sense alone. All right, very good. If somebody tells you, oh, she will read a bedtime story, all right, it makes sense, right? You're not expecting someone else, okay? All right, got it? All right, the way I, I'm going to tell you an example, guys. If I say, vamos a, hey, vamos a, 
Vamos a. Eso sería una cláusula dependiente o independiente. Nosotros vamos a. Right? Nosotros vamos a. Ok, that would be. Dependiente. Nosotros vamos. All right, very good. Si yo digo nosotros vamos, right? Vos se quedas. Vamos, vamos a dónde, right? Nosotros vamos y needs a noun. Got it? Ok, right. got it. Very good, very good. Okay. All right. Clear as water or clear as horchata? Clear as horchata. Okay, right. Clear as horchata. Water. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, All right. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at another example, guys, and tell me where you find the dependent clause and where you find the independent clause. Okay, and where is the adverb? Okay, so let's break this down. So first off, where's the adverb? Before. 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 Very good. Okay, Before. the adverb is here. Okay. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay. All right. <laughs> Where is the where is the where is the uh, dependent clause, Lino? Before she went to school. Before she went to school. Okay. All right. She went. Okay. She went to school. Okay. All right. Be uh, she went to school, but she went to school, guys. Okay. Doesn't it doesn't it feel like a does it feel like a dependent or independent clause? Dependent. Independent. 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 Okay. So, guys, if I say she went to school. It's independent. It's independent, right? It makes sense on its own. Guys, there is a subject. There is a verb. And there is a noun. Okay. Yeah. Now, what about here? There is a subject. There is a. A verb. There. There. And there is a noun, right? Yeah, Very good, no. okay. All, her homework is the noun, okay? Yeah. Right, or you can call the object of the sentence, okay? Yeah. All right. So if you notice here, guys, we have two dependent clauses, okay? Yeah. All right. So you can join oh, them, yes. okay? You can also join them. You can also join two dependent clauses together. Before she went to school, she finished all her homework. Okay, you can also say she finished all her homework before she went to school. So you can change that, right? You can say before... Before, I'm sorry, uh, she went, she went to school before she finished all her homework. Okay. Does that, does that make sense, guys? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Very she good job. She went to school. Very good yes. job, guys. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So... Before Why does it say depend? Okay. All right. So I guess it was taking just she went to school. And since we didn't know like who was going to school, that made it a dependent clause. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead, guys, and take a look at the following uh, exercise. Okay. All right, guys. So let's see, guys. Let's see how, how much you understood about this. We have... Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna able to finish it, guys. Yeah. All right. Let's let's do what we can, guys. Okay. If not, you can ask me. Let's work on this exercise 3.13, and uh, let me know if you need anything. All right. Let's go, guys. Hi again. Hi, hi. Hello, hello. Hi. Hello. I'm sleeping. You're sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh, no. no. <laughs> yes. I'm yes, tired. Okay. We're, we're all tired. <laughs> yeah, thank you for being here, though. But yeah. We don't have enough time to do it. It's eleven fifty-six. You think? Yeah, I don't think that. I, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to finish it, guys. But do as much as you can, okay? And then finish everything so. afterwards. If if you want, I share the screen. Okay, let's do it. No. Yes, I can. I can see it. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Is that your wife? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's how many how many children do you have? I don't know. I I I only have the one. Oh, okay. That's good, man. That's good. Her name is Maria Jimena. That's awesome, man. I call her MJ. MJ. <laughs> MJ. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. From... That's Wait, awesome. I, I can find a. My... It's pretty good. Ah, okay. I got it. Here, wait. Yes. Can you can you see this? Yes. Okay. Can you watch this? Okay. Yes. Before a man and woman get married, they usually this is they the exercise. Mister. Okay. Before a man and a woman get married, they usually give the woman. Before a man and woman get married, they usually pays pays for the wedding at reception. Probably <laughs> begin to plan the wedding. Begin to plan the wedding. Before a man and woman get married, no. Before, uh huh. That they, they each other about for about a year. Give no, the wedding and wedding. I think that. Before a man and woman get married, they usually. <clears throat> for for the wait. wedding. <laughs> Before wait, I I I really have a problem with that with that thing, man. Before and after. Was <laughs> short. Before a man and woman get married, they usually begin to plan the wedding. Plan the wedding. Yeah, I think so. Is that okay? Okay. Well, for example, <laughs> number two. Uh, when a couple when a couple gets engaged, engaged, a man often a man often give a ring. <laughs> I think. When I give uh, give a woman a diamond ring, gives a woman a diamond ring. I think so. That's a. Uh, a some money. Give, give the bridge a group. When a couple gets engaged, the men often. No, the other. I think it's the other. Gives the gives the woman a diamond ring. I think so. Give the woman a diamond ring. Uh -huh. diamond ring. ring. Te I think so. Yeah. The number three, for example, right after the couple getting right after right the, the couple get engaged, they usually <laughs> go to the honeymoon. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Hey guys, I think I don't. I think hey, that we yeah. didn't have uh, enough time to finish. That yeah. Okay. It was, hey. See you, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, try to finish it, guys. Home. I mean, try to finish it right now. Uh, home, guys. Um, okay. Do the midterm, guys. Okay, remember to to do the midterm before next class, before Monday. Okay. The midterm. Okay. Yes. Uh, so just make sure that we take care of the midterm. And uh, that's it, guys, okay? All right, enjoy your weekend. Take care, guys. Send more memes on WhatsApp because I, lo <laughs> I love them. <laughs> hey, the cool. hey did, did you like the, loud, the, the, the one from the, um, you know, with this guy uh, in the storm? And the, the Michael Jackson song in the background? Oh. Yeah. That, Man, I love that one. Really yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So, <laughs> All right, guys, I know that you're tired, guys, so I'll let you go to sleep. And uh, just finish this exercise first and then go to sleep, okay? All right, so see you guys. Take care of yourselves. Okay. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night.